Hi, this is Jeff Hicks. Today I want to demonstrate how you can use a few simple command line tools to identify potential time related problems and resolve them. So on my Windows 7 desktop that belongs to a domain, I'm going to open a command prompt. And I'm going to first run the nltest command to identify the time server, the domain controller that offers the time service in my domain. So I'm going to type nltest the test that I want to run is ds get dc. Now I have to specify the domain so I'm just going to use the environmental variable percent user domain percent and I want to get the time server. Okay, I can see that it is chi-dc01 so I'm going to run the net time command specifying the domain controller and see what the time is for that server compared to my current time. So I can see that the current time uh, the domain controller and I can see my local time and I see something that doesn't look right there. Looks like there is the local time, the GMT minus 5, I've got a time zone problem. And I can confirm this by using the tzutil command line tool. I'm just going to type tzutil slash question mark to see how to use this. Okay, so do tz util slash g will display the current time zone and I can see sure enough that I'm using Pacific Standard Time which is incorrect. This computer should be in the Eastern Standard Time and that's probably why I'm getting that weird result when I run the net time command. I can use tz util slash l, I'm going to pipe that to more because it'll scroll very quickly off the screen and I can see all the different time zone settings that I can set. Well I want to set the current time zone so I'm going to do tz util slash s and specify Eastern Standard Time and now I can run bring back that tzutil slash g. Good, I can see that I'm back to Eastern Standard Time. Let's hit the up arrow a few more times, get the net time command again. All right, now I can see that the current time is 4.11.09 p.m. The command completed successfully. I don't get that weird little time zone offset, so I, now I know that my desktop is in sync clockwise with the domain controller so I should not have any problems. So using these command line tools I very easily identified a potential problem and fixed it. Take some time to find the accompanying article and blog entry. There's more information on working with time related information in Windows using command line tools and Windows PowerShell. Thank you very much for your time today.